everyone. Today I'd like to tell you a little bit about prejudice. First of all, let's look at the meaning of the word prejudice. It means preconceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experience. So we have, we know that it feeds on lack of experience and we also know that we're more biased towards things that we do not know good enough. How many of you know the movie Jaws and actually like it? It's a nice movie, right? It's really, like, it really touched us and we keep on watching it again and again and again. Now, when this movie hit the screens in the 1970s, it not only affected the people, it also affected, uh, it also had another major effect, which was, in that summer, a mass murder of sharks happened in coastal areas because vacationers who were going to come to coastal areas on vacation were scared of shark attacks. So they killed so many sharks and most of these sharks that they killed were not even the type of sharks that hunt human beings. So can you imagine? Due to ignorance there's a bias and due to bias there's a wrongdoing. I guess it would have been better if we had the poster like this, <laughs> seeing the mess that we have made. I always considered myself a person with a wide point of view, and I always thought that I was not a person who did prejudice towards people. But the more I meet new people, the more I, I encounter different environments, and the more I try new things, I always figure out that I have all these hidden biases that I've never realized I had before. And one of these happened in 2014 when I started to take dance classes. Now when I say dance classes to people, people are like, whoa, cool, you do dance, what do you do? Do you do Latin dances? Maybe salsa or bachata? And I'm like, I do pole dance. <laughs> and everyone's like, what do you mean? Like, in a strip club? I'm like, well, yeah, some people do in a strip club, but I do it at a gym. And, or a recreational area. <laughs> yeah, right, gym, recreational area. There's only one type of pole dance that I know, and that's the one that Demi Moore did in, what was the name of that movie? Striptease? And there's also another reaction that you get. Sometimes people are like, oh, uh, oh, cool, yeah. Nice, nice, <laughs> cool, yeah. You know, like while they mind, their mind is thinking about what they should be saying, they leave their body unattained and it's just going on its own while they're figuring out what they're, what they're supposed to say. And I understand this because I've been through the exact same thing when one of my friends started pole dancing. I was like, what, pole dancing? <laughs> How come? Like, what do you mean? Like in a strip club. So it happens, I know. And I'm not judging anyone, but the only reason this happens is because we have... I just see other Thank you. It's because we have a single view about a single picture about pole dance, which is related to sexuality and which is related to taboos. So I want to add different images into your mind today to open up that point of view. Pole dance, the great grandfather is the Chinese pole. It dates all the way back to 12th century and it's done on rubber poles. That's why people have to dress up for this one. Otherwise, while they're going down, due to friction, they can actually get burned. So Chinese pole dancers are much dressed for this reason. And then there's the Malakam, which means pole wrestling in India. It dates all the way back 800 years and it's done on a wooden pole. This time people have to be naked, not because they want to look sexy like these guys over here, it's because they have to get precaution so that they don't slide off the, off the wooden stick without, you know, with their clothes on. So they have to be naked, not just for pleasure. And then there's the exotic pole that most of us know about. Now this one dates all the way back to Sumerians, all the way back to Sumerians, like even before Christ. And in the 1920s Great Depression, pole, exotic pole dance was used to boost the people, the, the energy of the people up because everyone was feeling down and there were a lot of trouble going on so they had to ease them. 
And then in the 1960s, in USA, the strip clubs that we know of today and the pole dance that we know of today started. So only around the 1960s, what you actually think the only pole dances happened. Before that, it was everything. It was so many things all together. Now, modern days brings all kinds of pole dance together again. You can do it in exotic style. You can do it in freestyle. You can do it as a fitness. You can do it as yoga. It's also a form of art. It can be done as ballet. And it can be done <laughs> as break dance, like these dudes over here are doing. So it can be done in so many styles. And it can also be done with, with so many people, you know? It doesn't depend on what gender you are. It doesn't depend on what age you are. And it doesn't really depend on physical appearance. Let me show you some examples. Women can do it. So can men. Women can do it in high heels if they wish to, and men can do it in high heels if they wish to. Pikachu, superheroes, and even robots are doing it nowadays. You have uh, oversized people doing it, and some of these people are incredibly talented and incredibly flexible. And most of the time I hear people saying, yeah, but who wants to watch them? They don't want you to watch them. They're dancing for their themselves. And so many people don't underst understand this. People who are already know how to dance can even dance when they're pregnant, just like yoga. And you have people dancing with their babies on their backs after they're born. Children can pole dance. Some people think that this is very bad, but believe me, feeding your kids with fast food is much more worse. So don't worry, they're going to be OK. And then there are families who do pole dance all together. There's a bunch of people who do it, even 69-year-old grandmas or grandpas, people without arms or legs. This is me. And the son over there is saying, she's going to blossom soon because I'm standing in a drop position. And I was feeling very bad on this day. And dance is the greatest healer in the world, really. Like, when you dance, everything is solved all of a sudden. And then I see this so many times, you know, screw this shit, I'll be a stripper. <laughs> no, you will not. Because it's like so bad, you know, like when they put a mind exercise, a mental exercise, over a physical exercise. Because one is not superior to the other one. They both get need the same amount of devotion, they both need the same amount of trial. They both need the same amount of work. You have to put so much into it. So it really needs the respect of people. Because I was doing caricatures while I was taking pole dance classes just to remember the things I did. Just look at my face over here. I mean, like, it's, it's, it's a really painful process, you know, to, to really get that strength and to learn what you're doing. It took me about a month to just climb, just like a fireman. That's it. And the minute I did it, I had to go and share it with everyone, because it made me so happy. This is something that we want to share with people. And so many times, you have to hide it from people. I was thinking, what am I going to tell the guy at customs? You know, I say, hey, lady, what is this for? And then I'm going to say, it's a material that I use to do fitness with. And he's going to be like, yeah, right, we know what kind of fitness that is. <laughs> it's, it's really scary. You have people coming over, and they're like, you have this in your house? And I'm like, you have this vertical bar in your house. If that's okay, why is it not to have, sorry, you have the horizontal one, so why can't I have the vertical one? And then you have to find weird ways to hide it. Now, this is just a joke. We don't, we don't do this. We just, we just keep it like it. But it was still a nice you know, mind exercise for me on how would I hide it if I needed to. And then I had this friend, you know, like you tell this to so many people, you get so many reactions. And then there was this, my art teacher, who I told it to, and he told me, oh, pole dancing, yeah, I know it. Isn't it a form of drawing with your body? I really loved it. These kind of people are the ones that keep you motivated. I really hope that we get more and more unbiased. Thank you.